Hey, I'm Mike Johnson, and I'd like to welcome you to a quick video um, about Niche Genetics' new product coming out. Um, I would talk to you about why I think Niche Genetics is a product you definitely have to add to your arsenal. And for the first time, I mean, one, I'm doing a video about a product that's just being launched, and uh, two, I'm offering bonuses with it. I normally don't do either of those, so uh, you can tell how excited I am about this product and why I think it's really like the most all-inclusive niche research and keyword research tool that you're going to find around. And you see my bonuses here on the page, um, very powerful bonuses as well. We've got uh, HQ Suggest and uh, then if you take the uh, upsell offer, um, which is Enterprise Extreme, which is I'm inside right now. The Enterprise Extreme version of Niche Genetics is off the charts awesome. And uh, the bonus I have if you take that upsell is Keyword Genetics, which amplifies everything in Niche Genetics, which is already more uh, than you need when you get the Enterprise Extreme version. So there is just a just ton of value here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you real quick what I mean. Um, here we are. We're inside uh, Niche Genetics. And like I said, I'm... I'm in the Enterprise Extreme version. Now this is the version you get when you upsell. And what that is, is you get where you can do reports uh, for like agency type stuff. If you want to give reports to clients and whatnot and print them out and use that as, uh, you know, reporting for clients. Um, you also get a massive, more massive amount of searches, uh, keyword searches per day. You get a thousand keyword searches per day, which I've been playing with this for a couple days now. And I haven't even come close to touching that. So um, <laughs> you have to be doing some serious keyword research. Now, I can see jumping above the 300 mark of the expert version, uh, but 1,000 is pretty tough. Uh, but um, if once you get into it, you can get highly addicted to the results, I can tell you that. Now, the main dashboard here, um, you're going to see that you have like your recent searches, most popular searches, and that's across the whole uh, network in niche genetics so they really open it up and then they have niche discovery which new niches keep popping up um, if you ever use a tool like niche reaper or niche fm where they kind of go out and look for niches for you that's what niche discovery is they're constantly looking for good niches um, and how to find them is simply by entering a keyword in here if it's already been searched for it's going to pop up pretty quick like a popular search here um, if it's a new new set of keywords that haven't been searched for then more than likely it's going to uh, take a little bit because it's gathering that much data I mean you're talking about the power of market samurai with put together with um, Moz majestic SEO the Google keyword planner um, YouTube Amazon Clickbank eBay it really has just, I mean, a ton of stuff. And uh, and some of that is Enterprise Extreme version only. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'll show you here in a second what I mean. Um, so if I click on, just instead of adding a keyword, I'll do one that I already clicked on. Um, you go in here and you'll see just the amount of data that's in here. The monthly searches, cost per click, competition for broad keyword search, uh, quotes is your is your phrase match. And uh, this is your exact match search over here for those keywords. And you can see weight loss is a pretty broad niche, but you get an example of, of what it's, it's going to tell you here. Now, it gives you a difficulty rating. It's kind of like a 0 to 50 rating. It's going to tell you if things are easy or, or difficult and stuff. And uh, most of the time, the moderate level down to easy, down to, and there's going to be very easy as well. Uh, it'll show you. Um, you're going to see it'll be kind of obvious when you see it. Now, down here, you have your page authority and domain authority stats from Moz in here. Um, so if you're familiar with that stuff, you, you know how you normally have to go to Moz for that or use a tool that incorporates it. But then you have your uh, trust flow from Majestic SEO, which really gives you the, the value and trust of the domain or the keywords or whatever if you're looking at uh, competition or if you're looking at the niche so um, what this is showing you is the competition data here uh, for the average top 10 sites that are ranking for those particular keywords for weight loss here um, so you can see everything here is snapshot but then it really starts to dig down into the content and it goes into long tail keywords um, related terms and you can expand each one of these by viewing the full report 
the competition, you know, your competitors, it, um, the amount of data just for this is incredible. Um, LSI keywords it helps you write your content on your pages. So you can use the LSI keywords and it'll have one phrase, two phrase, three phrase, and depending on the keywords, it could have up to four phrase, four phrase blocks of words for LSI keywords, meaning keywords that amplify the, the main keyword here, which is weight loss. When you're writing about that on a blog post or, or whatever, you know, writing an article on your site to help amplify its SEO value. So that's just a snippet of it. And then you go down here, it'll give you, if you do any kind of uh, CPC or AdSense advertising, it shows you what's out there. Um, everything down here, it'll have suggestions, it'll have how-to questions, uh, it'll have regular questions and trends for that particular niche and keyword, other categories, and all this stuff, all, if it's not loaded already, all you have to do is click on get data and it'll go out and get that data. So if it's not populated now, you can easily populate it by clicking on there and it really goes out and searches for it. Um, and then, um, now here's some definite um, enterprise edition stuff uh, where it searches. Now if you're doing affiliate marketing at all and you want to know if a niche not only is, is a good niche but also has products to promote in it as an affiliate marketer, or if you just want to write a single blog post in your blog focused on a particular subject area and you can dig in to your, you know, your long tail keywords, you can get in there and dig into the, the long tail and then you can, you know, go down and see if, if there's things that you can monetize it with, you know, on your site. And the base version of the plugin comes with the Amazon block here but you have to upgrade to the Enterprise Edition to get the eBay and ClickBank stuff. So just be aware of that. Um, but it's just a tremendous amount of value. Now, two things that I really love in here um, and bring value to anything you do when it comes to niche research is digging down into the niche and finding those gold nuggets to create a website on or to create blog posts on as far as the long tail is concerned. And you can really dig in here and it'll show you um, you know, the stuff that doesn't have a lot of search results, um, tighter, you know, searches less competition, um, and, but you can see has a lot of searches. Now, some of the stuff really isn't something for this particular keyword, might not be something you go after. But if you see here, um, people are promoting on this, Gina Neely weight loss, uh, 4,400 searches a month with a cost per click of 1345 per click. Um, and 53,000 search results, which is not a lot. So that is a monetizable niche right there. That's gonna be a blog post that you just and put AdSense on and start making a bunch of cash off of it. So, I mean, instead of, and you see here, Trisha, Trisha Yearwood weight loss, 1,900 searches a month, a 2344 cost per click. That is just a huge amount of SEO value. And you can dig into it as much as you want. You can do it. You can sort it any way you want by cost per click and kind of see, you know, Epsom, Bolt, Epsom salt bath weight loss. What a very nifty niche right there to check out. Now, each one of these, you can then click, you know, copy those keywords and go back here and kind of, you know, search for the niche again. But um, and, and dig into that series of keywords just like you did the weight loss here. You can do the same exact thing. So don't think that it's it's limited at all. And you can go back to that last page you were on and click search again for a different niche and do it. So even though you click on the view full report, you're still gonna maintain the same page. You see here the previous page I was on and I can click back to the other page. So you're not gonna lose something and have to go back and research it. now. The comp competition module, I think, just blows it out of the water. When you're trying to find a niche to dig in on and see the competition data, right here is really just a tremendous amount of data that you can dig into. And uh, the stuff here is just fantastic. Uh, you can get down for even more data, you know, as far as the blog posts themselves and dig into it, click on it and go, go look at them and Google and see what the exact content is here. But you can see what the keyword uh, in title, the, the keyword URL, keyword he header stuff, 
is all in there. But what's even more powerful is if you click on this export button and you export it into Excel, it opens up a ton of additional content and data on top of that. So, I mean, if you want to dig into a niche, I mean, you can really dig into it. But let's, if you look at this, go into competition analysis, you can dig into it even more. And um, we dig us into a lot of the stuff here, uh, backlink count, referring to our domains. And this is, this stuff here is additional um, uh, enterprise extreme stuff when you're talking about this information here and the, all the social stuff here, finding out the social impact of each one of these sites. You can see here for this particular um, search right now, there's not a lot, but when you really dig into it, you can find a tremendous amount of information there and it has all your normal uh, stuff that you'd look for, trust flow, uh, DA and PA for Moz. Uh, it's all there for you. And then you can see the competition as far as the, you know, using the proper SEO stuff for that particular niche. And uh, so, like I said, you can always search again for a different niche, click on something else, uh, boom, here's a search I did, and you can see how to lose weight without exercising, and it's a moderate competition niche, and I can dig into some serious long-term, or long tail, I should say, uh, keyword searches. So it's just a huge, huge, huge amount of data here that I can dig into for these keywords and you can see it goes on and on and on and on and on uh, I can't even begin to tell you all the stuff that's in here so if you want to do any kind of keyword or niche research and you definitely if you want to do uh, you know next level like YouTube keyword research too, the enterprise edition here is for you you see I just clicked over to the YouTube whoops and you can see here all this stuff for YouTube, I can sit there and click on get data and it'll search out all this stuff for YouTube. And I can do YouTube research above and beyond what any other tool can do right now. So um, I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic tool for keyword research, finding related content, competition analysis, long term, long tail keywords, LSI keywords, AdWords, I mean, anything that's related to how to questions and answers about it that you can really dig into content, what people are looking for, answers people are looking for for your particular niche to write blog posts on and really expand your SEO footprint. I mean, it is one all inclusive tool. Fantastic. So um, it's being released on uh, June 30th. And uh, if it's already past June 30th, jump on it before the price goes up because um, this is a tool that you need to have in your arsenal. I definitely am glad I was able to get a hold of it myself.